He characterized this thing called the von Neumann bottleneck now, which is this difference between how memory and processing units work. Okay. okay? Because um, fundamentally, you have this separation between RAM yes. and hard disk. Right. Okay. Right. Right. And the, the hard disk is where you store your permanent memory. The RAM is where you're doing the computation yes. of whatever the thingy that you're doing. So, for example, if I want to have a local, if I want to take OpenAI's open source model yeah. and run it locally on my computer, mm -hmm. I need a Mac that has a lot of RAM. Yeah. Not necessarily a big hard disk. Yeah, not necessarily a big hard disk, but like like something that will compute efficiently. Compute, correct. Like currently now. Now. Right? And so there's a need for a new paradigm where perhaps maybe memory and RAM are the same thing. Okay. Right? Okay. And with these increasing demands with AI, big data, and all this other kind of stuff, we want to have a new paradigm where the, the it doesn't cost us that much power to upkeep Yes. All of this amount of stuff. Makes sense. Okay. And so that's where the idea of spintronics comes in. And so spintronics is this idea of utilizing the electron spin in addition to its charge, charge because we to only store charge. information. Right. And to process information. Right. Yeah. So 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 imagine if we had a magnetic RAM where where the, the, the memory was stored in the polarization of, of these the, magnets. Right. Now if I take out the power, it can maintain. magnets are gonna maintain their polarization. Yes. Right. So yeah. I could have this like way without like this non volatile. It's called volatility yes. in a memory. But I could have a non volatile memory. Yes. Because it's stored in the physical orientation of the magnet. Yes. Right. Yes. Okay. That yes. So that's a great goal. That's very. And that's what we want. That's and very and 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 then and then we can actually bridge this gap between memory and processing. Mm -hmm. Right. Because now all of a sudden the same paradigm that we're using for memory, we can start using for processing. Mm -hmm. And it could be this like bridge between the two. And so now we don't have this von Neumann bottleneck. Yep. Okay. Which, yeah, yes. So this is, this is great. Yes. We want this. Yes. We want this. Yes.